You've got dozens of superstar actresses who go, me too, he did that to me too. And they raise their voices and they go, hey, me too, me too, me too, me too. And then everyone goes, oh, people still want to attack them, right. still want to dismiss them, but because they're not so easily dismissed, because they fought through this system right. and they got that power and now they're using their voices, everybody had to listen. I love that this notion of shame is being shed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're no longer ashamed. We're just calling it what it is. Right. Shame, self-blame. Yes. Secrecy. And all, and all the yeah. graphic detail. It's like, this is what happened. This is how it went down, mm -hmm. beat by beat. And I think there's a real power in being accurate mm -hmm. and being able to not kind of sand down the rougher edges. It's like a wave. It's like, you know, the first soldiers on the front line were there and now the backup is coming, which yeah. is really exciting. We have a president who is known to have harassed women. We have heard it, we've seen it, and yet he was elected. So I think that that feeling of unfairness just galvanized us yes. to look within change that we can make ourselves. I think because of the bravery of so, so many women, that men are feeling compelled to step up and speak out as well. And that's what we need. We need allies. We need our brothers to come forward and yes. speak the truth because they know it more than we do in some, in some ways. That's yeah. right. Some very powerful, very wonderful men that I know are saying, I'm asking myself where I've been complicit. Right. And I'm exactly. vowing to do exactly. better. And that is exciting.